Here's the plan. I just left shift when they come out. It didn't work! No! What are you doing over there? I'm gonna move this payload no matter what it fucking takes. Bruh. I'm bad at this game. I'm garbage. What on God's earth is happening right now? How do we get here? Well, about 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth formed itself out of a bunch of rock and dust to form a larger rock. A bunch of other stuff happens, the formation of the moon, the birth of Queen Elizabeth II, the beginning of life, but we can skip all of that to the beginning of today's video, late May of 2023, when God himself descended from heaven to give me the idea for today's video. Playing 100 games as Anna, and only Anna, in Overwatch 2. At the time, neither him nor I considered the full implications of such a feat. I thought of clickbaity thumbnails and wondered if my ability to play the shitty game would improve following this video. I really should have, for you see, one of the inspirations for this video were TF2 challenge videos, and if you've seen any of these before, you know how they went. While I knew that this would be a challenging endeavor, I never anticipated the very real mental and physical suffering I'd signed up for. Seriously, please like and subscribe because not only did I probably give myself a semi-serious shoulder injury recording this video, I also nearly drove myself into insanity editing this thing. There were 18 hours of footage! Please help me! Before we delve into my rapidly declining mental state, let's discuss Ana Amari. Ana Amari is a support hero added to the game in early 2016. Her main thing is that she can heal and damage with her gun, a sniper rifle. I'll go into more detail regarding her abilities later, but in short, with her rifle she can pew pew allies to heal them or pew pew enemies to deal damage. She has a second gun which shoots a sleep dart which can put enemies to sleep for a short period of time. She also has a grenade that is totally not filled with piss that boosts the healing done to allies and prevents enemies from healing altogether. Her ultimate ability is a supportive boost for an ally, increasing their damage and decreasing the damage they take. Now, I've been wanting to quote unquote get good at Ana for a while, before the idea for this video hit me on the back of the head and subsequently tortured me for a month, I would occasionally try and play as her, get in a few games between being the world's shittiest tank and a bastion with no aim skill, but inevitably I'd die a sad and lonely death in a random corner of Colosseo, having only done 300 healing and end up switching to Moira or Baptiste. But now, I couldn't switch to a different character. No more spamming Moira orbs into choke point or immortality fielding my team. Even if I sucked, even if I effectively made every game I joined a 4v5, no matter what, I was playing Ana. And hopefully, by the end of this experience, I would be slightly better as her. T time will tell on that front. But enough explaining, it's Sniper Grandma time. Day one was a good day. I had decided to record this video over the course of five days for several reasons. Uh, one, 100 games divided by five days would mean an average of 20 games per day, which seemed reasonable at the time. Two, this also encouraged me to be more consistent with playing the game. I had to play the game every day, and I had to only play as Ana. And three, this was also recorded right before I was to begin a summer research position, and I wasn't sure if I would be able to record this challenge video while also potentially doing a full-time job, so I wanted to get in as many games as possible before my official start date. But yeah, day one went pretty good. Uh, I obviously struggled with Ana, I kept dying to stupid shit. Oh my god, again? I know where you are. I can hear you. Junkrat's just back there and I can't do anything about him. But regardless of my actual performance, I was excited to finally get good at this character. Almost to no one was claiming that I was throwing. Anna, please. Sorry, I'm bad. <laughs> Bro, I <laughs> Am I bad at Anna? Or am I bad at everyone? Yes, 
Oh my god, I touched! No, 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 I refuse, no! Make it on point, make it on point, make it on point! How did I touch? How did I touch? I genuinely don't know. Thanks, Anna. I can feel the disappointment. Lol, it's fine. I don't think it's fine. The Zen had double the healing that I did. The Zen had uh, I don't even know what Q word that is. It's not quintuple, it's like... Pentuple. It's like pentuple the damage. Anyways, that was game three, I guess. <laughs> The number of mid-game quits seem to be about the same. And even better, because this is Overwatch 2 and everyone hates playing support, I had almost instantaneous queue times. I would leave one game and almost immediately join another one, which made the progress on the number of games played very quick. The first seven games proceeded smoothly like this. Join the game. Insta-pick Ana. Play to the best of my abilities, but inevitably get out-healed by the other support regardless of which character they played. And sometimes win, and sometimes lose. Pretty good stuff, pretty standard Overwatch gameplay. I did encounter one problem. Backfills. Because Overwatch 2 is the world's second least fun to play game ever, there's lots of people who quit games halfway through, and someone has to fill in that empty spot. What would I do if I joined a game this way and it turned out that someone was already playing Ana? Luckily, this issue didn't come up that often, and I made the simple decision to just manually quit the game and re queue for another one should this situation arise. This challenge is me playing as just Ana, and it was already going to take me a while to do this, so playing as other characters wasn't something I should spend any time on. Speaking of time, by the end of my seventh game, I was beginning to realize just how long this challenge would take. Just over an hour. I'm at game seven. Uh, that's 7%. Hold on. So that's 1.25. This is going to be a 20 hour project, huh? <laughs> what did I sign myself up for? And once I knew that it would likely take me upwards of 20 hours to just film this video, my mood quickly began to sour. I'm dead. Yep. There we go. Oh my god. I'm so bad as Ana. I'm so bad as Ana. So yeah, that was day one. I played 20 games, contemplated the meaning of my life and whether or not this project was a massive waste of my time, and managed to hit a couple cool shots. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! I killed a widow, let's go! Can someone touch? Can someone touch? Can someone touch, please? Please? Hello? Oh? Oh? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cap, 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 cap. Come on, come on. I'm slow, I'm old, I'm on it. I'm not reaching you very fast. Can I arc it? 
no, 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 no. Stay alive, 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 stay alive. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Oh! All of my brain power! Diva, Diva, you need to stay long enough. You need to stay long enough. You need to stay long enough to get back and back. You need to get back and back. You need to get back and back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh my fucking god. It was a fairly productive three hours of my life, and I felt like while I was nowhere close to being good as Anna, I was beginning to get less dog shit as her. Day two was where the obvious decline in my will to keep playing began to show. It is day two. Uh, I just woke up. Um, <laughs> I am very tired. I did not sleep well last night. Um, I think I fell asleep at 2 a.m. and it's 7 a.m. So five hours. Uh, <laughs> today's going to be interesting. Firstly, while this was apparent in day one's gameplay footage, I didn't touch upon this too much because at this point, the reality of my situation hadn't quite sunk in yet. My biggest problem playing as Anna would be people in the back lines. As Anna, I'm usually the person in the back of the team, with only very few characters further back than me. This position is optimal. Anna has very few options for close quarters combat, and instead thrives in mid range to long range combat and healing. At the back, I can see everyone's health, throw grenades as needed, attempt to sleep dart people being annoying, and also be an amazing payload princess. At the back, I am also at the mercy of half of the playable cast. Every Genji off their ADHD meds, every thousand hour tracer, every lost Sombra. As the person who's most likely the furthest in the back, I was their first target of elimination, and I couldn't deal with them. Ugh, I cannot deal with flank characters as Ana. I can't deal with people in the back line as Ana. I am kind of dependent on people I'm either being god tier with my sleep shots, or, or, uh, people, other people dealing with the fact that there's multiple people on our back lines. They move too fast for me to sleep dart. Tracer and Sombra have moves that get them out of bad situations at a press of a button, and Tracer can effectively heal herself by reversing time. Hell, even less erratic moving people in the back line are a nightmare to deal with as Ana. Reaper does way more damage than me and can easily dodge my sleep darts. Moira can quickly orb me and get away. Soldier and Cassidy can easily flank and kill me with one round of bullets. So, in order to help with my ever-decreasing will to live, I decided to recruit reinforcements for this challenge. Meet Jess. I asked them for a description of themselves, and they responded with perpetually confused and a strong hater of things they didn't understand. But I feel like this doesn't even begin to cover how amazing of a person they are. So instead, here's a clip of them that I feel pretty accurately portrays them. Jess just sent me a message that just said, Psst, spaghetti? And I went, spaghetti? <laughs> These are the people I talk to on a regular basis. I'd also describe them as the world's number one Symmetra hater. I can hear Symmetra, bro. I hate this bitch. It's a good name. Speak your non non words at me. Uh, Ulu, Owo, <laughs> your mother. So after a quick rundown of what I was doing and how long this venture would take, I kidnapped, I mean recruited them, to the getting good as on a cause. Hello gamer. Hello gamer. Uh, I, I got like 5-4 hours of sleep. I'm very eepy. Um, 
I'm also exclusively playing as I'm very EP right now. I'm also exclusively playing as Anna. All right, is that what your EPness does to you? It makes you makes you want to play sniper. No, no, no. That's for that's for the video. I decided I would torture myself. Um, and do a video in which it's like, I played a hundred games as Anna. here's what I learned, or whatever. Something like that. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Oh, there's a flanky. Also, hopefully you can deal with all random flank shenanigans, uh, cause I can't. Um, I'm a little... I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I I, I kind of heard you die in the corner of my ear. <laughs> if that makes sense. The corner of my ear hurt. <laughs> Drop the wall, May. Drop the wall, May. No! Keep the wall up! <laughs> Down with the wall, May. I love putting Reinhardt's to sleep. It's amazing. Oh, you like putting older men to sleep? That's a little... I refuse to comment on my taste in men. Yeah. Cost continental no, no. kidnapping. It's not kidnapping. Yeah, it's not kidnapping. Woo! Reaper up top, Reaper up top. Weep, 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 weep. Weeper up top, oh, ooh. Ah, oh, that's fine, I weep. fell off too. L ratio your mother. Other song. That song is most yeah. I can't wait for the diva to start complaining that we're not giving heals when uh, she keeps on getting out of the range of my heals. Yo, careful! It's fine. I've I've like I've like the I've like the auto healing thing. I'm fine. Isn't it like? Hold on. So you know like the passive support oh, role thing? This is a matcha, yeah. Um, is that when like you're not in combat? Yeah. Or is that what in general? Out of combat. Okay, I okay. Think. Yo, we have to like yeah. shut down the Symmetra somehow. She's the one that's just builds her beam up on our Winston shield. Oh, our tank switched to Winston. Yeah, she just builds her charge up on the shield and then, like, you know, presses the win button. You mean her ult? I wouldn't say her no, ult is a win I button. Just... No, no, no. I just mean her regular her regular beam. Ah. It's, it's powered up by the time that we get there. Cause the Wait, it, it, it gets powered up? Because, yeah, you know how the longer it's on or whatever, hitting a target? I never noticed that. To be fair, I never see Symmetras! You see too many Symmetras. Honestly, I hate Symmetras. If we're being honest here. Hmm. Like, every time I see a Symmetra, Baptiste, like, the, the Bibbidi Bobbidi's and the Igamatsios, those, those scare me. That's just a stat. I hate, I hate, I hate this. I hate her. I hate her. She just puts turrets everywhere and doesn't do shit. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, no, I, sh I, sh I shouldn't be in front of the payload. We should be a little farther behind. I can hear voices. We're making this push! We're making this push, gamers! I hate the- I hate the trajectory of the- I hate the trajectory of just- The, uh, like the little- uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like the biotic grenade or whatever. Um. Yeah. I don't know, it, the arc it feels weird. It's like never as high as I think it's going to be. Which is kind of cringe. Bastion, no! Okay, she left me. All right. I don't know. How oh my god. 
ba 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 da ba da I, I punch, I punch the diva. I punch the diva. And I somehow did the die to like the diva call mech thing, but then the Zen punched me to death. <laughs> Zen really kick. Then I realize he could punch. Uh, Zen kicked me to death. I guess if we're being technical about it. I hate Symmetra's dude. I hate how she looks. I hate all her well, most of her skin. I hate how she works. I thought I thought she was still living. <laughs> yeah, girl, you're undeniable. Daisy Deeks bikinis on top. West Coast represent. Now put your hands up. I only know this from the meme. Ah. Dude, I saw a plastic bag the other day. Yeah, plastic bag drifting like through the woods. Plastic, bag. Like like plastic, plastic bag. bag. We had to sing that for my uh, in for like fifth grade. It was like they did like a stupid like um because. I was- I'm part of the, like, uh, make everything special generation, I'd say. For my fifth grade graduation, they made us sing that at the graduation, and I was like, I hate reality right now. Feel like a plastic bag? Yeah. Great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm totally doing oh things, gamers, I swear. I say that and then I and then I killed the Baptiste. It's really funny because like um if I like kill someone If I kill someone as Anna, I feel like there's such a delay between like me taking the shot, me thinking that I didn't kill anyone, and then uh the thing actually showing up in the kill feed. Oh, you mean like the delay because it's a projectile, technically? I guess so? I've- uh, I've all- It feels weird, I get it. Yeah, it feels really weird. Because oh, I'm like- ew, ew, it hurts. Ew. I hate turrets. I'm sorry. I should have been paying attention. No, it's this freaking it's these freaking depressed people who play Symmetra, like... Yeah, yeah, I can't res that. <laughs> Sorry. I can raise this. Do you ever feel like a plastic like bag? A plastic bag? Like a plastic bag. Like a plastic bag. Me and my slow old ass trying to get over to the point. I'm actually oh. aging 20 years. Jesus Christ! Their May is cracked! Uh, she headshot me through a tree across the map, instantly killing me because she went through the Baptiste ult. Jesus. Oh my. Stop being responsible. Oh, you procrastinate in the post office. I mean, I procrastinated for a day to do yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> CEO entrepreneur born in 1964 Jeffrey Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Bezos Don't die don't die you're not allowed to die There's a diva up my ass there's a diva up my ass there's a diva up my ass I'm sorry I was It's okay it's this fucking echo bro this not uh. Or a McCree Actually, wait, I can't say McCree, I'm, otherwise I'm oh, going to get cancelled. No, I hate her, like... <laughs> you were saying? I just, want, I just want Echo's dead, bro. I'm fucking... Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Ah! And then poverty killed me again! <laughs> poverty. It's, it's just the story about life. Just poverty. It's the story of life, the board game, but we're doing it in Overwatch. And it's just a bit where I have like six children, so I need to have like two cars of like the little pegs. And then um, it's like, and then poverty's like beating up, beating my ass right now, you know. But eventually, the good times had to end, and I was back to my lonesome. The rest of the day was honestly depressing. I was rapidly losing the will to keep playing, I kept missing critical shots and heals, and I kept getting fucked in the ass by any and all enemy players. 
All in all, it was about four hours of the world's worst on a gameplay. While playing with Jess was fun, and we worked well together as dual supports, I felt that in comparison to day one, I hadn't improved much, if at all. Hopefully, day three would change that. Day three was an interesting day for several reasons. Firstly, my critical thinking skills had apparently de-evolved to that of a monkey's circa 2.2 million years ago because I just kept making stupid mistake after stupid mistake. Ah! That was a pup. Don't you have a ult? Don't you have a ult? Go, 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 go. Fuck shit up. Fuck shit up. Do shit up. Be shit up. Your mother. Your mother. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Some of these plays are what a noob on a player would do. And I'm not a noob. I'm an elite gamer who has about 180 hours in this game. However, as Ana, I had one big problem that wasn't stupid flankers in the back line, or my inability to aim sleep darts, or her old joints making her movement speed slow. No, it was my inability to do anything. So maybe I'm worse at Ana than I thought I was, but man, is it hard to do anything as her? Oh my fucking god! This widow is cracked! Yay! No! Everyone's at critical health! Gamers, 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 gamers. Gamers, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a gamer and cool. Thank you, thank you! There's just an Aritha in her backlines! This has been the world's most annoying Aritha to deal with. Reinhardt is low! Reinhardt is low! Gamers, 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 gamers. Gamers, 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 gamers. Come on, come on, come on. Contest, contest, contest! Boop, 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 boop. We're doing it this way, we're doing it this way! The McCree is a one hit! The McCree is a one hit! The McCree is a one hit! I'm used to characters like D.Va or Bastion, who can have big impacts on the team by being annoying and contesting for long periods of times, or by killing half the team through big gun. Hell, even other support characters like Baptiste can help painfully prolong fights through his vertical mobility and immortality fields. In contrast, it felt like I kept making the same mistakes while playing this day, and even worse, I had no idea how to improve. I need to stop panic ulting. I don't even know who I ulted, to be honest. Go do something! Go do something! Go do something! My brother in Christ, go do something! I hate this corner that we're in. Why are we all up here? At this point, I probably should have looked up a guide on how to play Ana, but I was in monkey brain mode. All I wanted in life at the moment was funny banana, balloon genocide, and the sweet release of my own death. Not helping matters were the super sweaty gamers in quick play of all places, telling me that I was garbage and I should go play Roblox. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yep, there you go. Maybe next time contest that second or first point harder. <laughs> ah, I'm definitely gonna include this in the video, huh? 
Hold on. Social. Last match. Boy, that's teammate. Yeah! I don't know, man. If you tell me to go play Roblox, can you go play Roblox, you know? I've played more than you. What the fuck? <laughs> Occasionally, this more gamer side of me would show up, and I would actually contribute to my team, and I would see a glimpse of the light at the end of the skill issue tunnel. I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming. I don't even know how I did that. I'll take it as a kill. I kill. I killed the Doomfist. Let's go. I killed the Doomfist. Let's go. Nice. Nice! <laughs> I killed so many people that round, I'm super happy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be gamer and shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry it took me so long to realize you were in the back lines. doomed to sleep so many times at this point, it's kind of not funny. Out of there, get out of there! You've staggered them pretty badly. Um. I've put the doom to sleep seven times! <laughs> Six to seven times. I feel like there might have been one time in which, um, I did it. It wasn't the Doom I put to sleep, and it was someone else I put to sleep. When played well, Ana can be top healer, a spectacular damager, someone who can contest point for literal minutes, and once close to death, can boost the tank with her ult and create an unstoppable weapon of mass destruction. Keyword. When played well. <laughs> I was nowhere near that. However, at my darkest moment, I encountered my greatest enemy. My own father. playing as Hanzo, hated working at Amazon, and just like my own mother, was extremely disappointed in me. <laughs> <laughs> Th 
Thank you, Dad. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> You're already dead to me, don't worry. However, just like with my own mother, I wasn't going to let that stop me. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you for killing dad for me. Thank you. Thank you. Son, come to me. Dad, why? This is certainly a game. I will say that. A game has occurred. <laughs> Fuck, wrong person! Why do I keep on doing Why do I keep on doing that?
Well done, son! Woo! Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. After proclaiming victory over a fake internet father in a dying video game, I had no more will to keep going forward. The light at the end of the tunnel felt further and further out of reach. My shoulders were sore after about 10 hours of playing. And even worse, it was May 31st. My job was about to start the next day, and I had no clue when I would be able to play next, l let alone if I could finish this stupid challenge. I needed a break. I needed to play an actually good video game. Eventually, I had to return to planet Earth. It was back to the grind. Day 4 saw the arrival of two very important things. 1. The remaining members of the Carpal Tunnel Gaming Club. And 2. My brain cells. Okay, let's go in reverse order. What exactly do I mean by my brain cells arriving? So you see, in the 20 or so minutes that have probably elapsed since my opening spiel, you might have forgotten the original purpose of this whole exercise, to get good at Ana, or at least, get better at playing as Ana. Yeah, somewhere in the 60 or so game since the beginning of my slow descent into insanity, I'd forgotten that this was my goal, and I'd accepted my shittiness as an unchangeable fact of my Overwatch reality. However, I'm the master of my own fate, and I can change that fact. Okay, so hear me out because this is going to get super technical super fast, but there's this weird thing called the World Wide Web, more commonly referred to as the Internet, which allows me to easily do research on a variety of obscure topics, including how any of the mechanics in the stupid game work, and optimal play strategies for every single playable character. It's also how you're watching this video. Yeah, I, I don't know how I forgot that I could just look up guides on how to play Ana. Oops. For this project, because I didn't want to melt my brain trying to play 5D chess and Overwatch of all games, I decided to keep it relatively simple with my research, and just go off of what the Overwatch wiki said was the optimal strategy. First, let's start with the biotic rifle. On this rifle is pretty similar to what I originally thought it was. It's a weapon which operates best at mid to long range with both healing and damage capabilities. However, there are some intricacies to the weapon that I hadn't originally realized. Any damage or healing done by the rifle doesn't happen instantaneously. Instead, damage and healing are dealt in rapid segments. This explains the slight delay between me firing my gun at an enemy and me actually killing the enemy that I had noticed in Day 2 while playing with Jess. Unlike Widowmaker's sniper rifle, the biotic rifle can't deal critical shots. This is good for me, because I'm garbage at aiming, especially when it comes to headshots. I don't get rewarded for hitting the head, so I can stick to much easier body shots. I was also mostly correct as to how on the sleep dart works. While I still can't aim with the damn thing, it is intended to be primarily used on tanks and other immediate threats, such as people ulting. However, once again, there are some peculiarities with the weapon that I hadn't noticed at this point. While the sleep dart is intended to be used to stop enemies from using their ults, there are limitations as to which ults it works on and which ones it doesn't, which is very confusing and not helpful at all, and I still haven't figured this out, which is super stupid. Th like, there's no good information! If a target is hit by the sleep dart in midair, they stay on their current trajectory until they hit the ground. So, if done right, aka, I never do this in the video, you can force someone off the map using the sleep dart. Uh, and finally, apparently it deals damage? Yeah, I never noticed this, and doesn't impact anything. Why the fuck is this in the game? On this biotic grenade is where my clinically diagnosed stupidity becomes very apparent. Up until this point, I'd primarily been using the weapon in one of two ways. 
either to heal myself when I was at low health, or to heal other people when they were at low health, and I was out of ammo on my rifle. Yeah, so I'd been using this thing completely wrong. According to the wiki, the optimal way to use this thing is when preparing to heal your tank, when in team fights, when either an enemy or allied Zenyatta is ulting, either to boost their healing or to stop it altogether. Or when an enemy wrecking ball has ulted and you need to clear the resulting minefield quickly because apparently the mines have less health than the damage dealt by a grenade? Yeah, I was doing none of these things. And while I did my best to more optimally use the biotic grenade going forward, I was still very rarely using this thing in situations where I really should have. Finally, Anna's ultimate ability, Nano Boost, had a few interesting things of note. While I knew it instantly healed an ally and boosted their damage, it also apparently reduces their damage taken by 50%. Yeah, never noticed that. There was also no way for Nano Boost to miss or to be stopped. Good to know. Finally, there is a very important hierarchy for which characters should be Nano Boosted and which ones shouldn't be. <clears throat> The boosted character should preferably have their ult ready, so more damage is dealt. However, the nano boost doesn't work with certain ults, such as Hanzo's and Yadas or Widowmakers. However, I don't use this newfound information at all. I still primarily boost allies out of sheer panic. Some other general tips the wiki provided included prioritize damaging enemies, but be prepared to heal low health allies. Use Biotic Grenade to counteract self-heal abilities such as Soldier's Biotic Field or Roadhog's Take a Breather. Between Ana's high damage and healing capabilities, Nano Boost charges faster than other support ults, so I should be more liberal with usage. I should use the Biotic Rifle's damage over time property to my advantage. I can duck out of way of enemy fire and still kill an enemy assuming I've dealt enough damage. Okay, enough technical jargon, on to the second thing, the Carpal Tunnel Gaming Club. The Carpal Tunnel Gaming Club is my stupid name for the group of gamers that occasionally kidnap me at 6 in the morning to play this game. You've already met one club member, Jess, now here's a quick and stupid introduction to two more members. Alan. Famous for asking for a Ryan, he functions as the club's Overwatch coach. He's probably the most gamer of us gamers and primarily plays support, though in this video I think he's playing tank? Uh, he's also Yui from k -On for the record. Levi. Famous TF2 YouTuber, Levi will occasionally descend from heaven to play Overwatch with us non-dustable plebeians. At the time of recording this video, he primarily played Reaper, though more recently he's been playing Cassidy and Hansel. I don't have funny things to say about him, so just go subscribe to his YouTube channel. The link's in the description. Now that I've introduced the gamers, it's time for me to get cancelled on Twitter. She's so fucking low. That, like, that was weird. On an aside, I'm about 3,000 words into this video script, and I'm getting really tired of typing the word gamer, so I'll just let 6am uncaffeinated ready commentate for me instead. Yeah, that's a really good play. Yeah. I mean, I've ulted one Bash. Guys, one death. <laughs> that's good. Yeah! I'm gonna hit 10. My goal this round is to hit 10. 10 deaths? Yep. That's a good goal. It shouldn't be particularly hard to achieve. <laughs> it probably isn't. No, with your skill set. Yeah! She's behind. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you, Zarya! Bastion, please live that! I'm trying to keep our Zarya alive. I'm not letting go of the objective. Now my goal is to see if I can catch up to Alan in terms of heals. I have met the- I am- I am stifling the, uh, the tracer. Thank you! My turf, go away. I'm backing up, I'm backing up, I'm getting out of there, I'm getting out of there. I do not like this situation. I'm keeping you alive, Alan, I'm keeping you- I'm trying to keep you alive! Thank you. I got the sojourn, but no one else, very sad. Can 
we take out the Roadhog, please and thanks? Working on it. I'm going to die. Like, I swear to God, I've sleep darted and, like, eat him, like, 20,000 times. Rip. Okay. We need to kind of have this push not fail. I'm, I'm dead. Their hog had a lot of ults. Yeah. I wish that, like, if you slept, if, like, when I sleep a hog in the middle of an ult, that he doesn't immediately That's get back true. up and, like, can continue the ult. Because so far, I think he's the only one, he's the only character I've encountered to where, like, that can happen. I'm sure the other characters, like, um, with, like, oh no, actually, yeah, if, if you sleep Reaper, he doesn't continue his ult. Yeah, if you sleep Reaper, the ult's dead. So, sleeping Reaper's his priority. If you sleep Bob, I think the sleep lasts longer than Bob does. If you sleep... I've never tried Bastion or Junkrat when they're ulting. I, no, I think that kills them as well. Yeah. They, I don't know if it kills Junkrat, but I know I think it kills Bastion. Yeah. Because that's when you separate... Because that's when you essentially enter a separate mode. Um... I think it kills Hanzo's ult. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on if, on like, if you sleep Hanzo before or after he gets the dragons out. Uh, I know it sleeps Genji, but like Genji's like impossible to sleep, so I I, I just don't even try these days. Um, <laughs> it's good for soldier. I'm sorry. Amid Discord, we will find tranquility. Opens up a Discord server. We will not. You don't find tranquility in Discord servers. You find nothing but chaos and and, and Discord. Woo! Thank you, Diva. Thank you, Diva. It's good because she just wasted her her res. She just she just wasted her res. I agree. Also, I have. Old can someone kill Mercy, please, and thank you? She's- she's no, one hit. Okay. No, no, I'm trash. Okay. Ooh, shit, I need to change. I'm not asking you specifically, I'm asking I'm in general. Guy. My job. <laughs> Angel said no one needs incest at 8 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the thing, there's two game. there's- I would say it's a three-game set. You would not say that because you're too, that's, that's not gamer. Good. You're too gamer for the rest of us. Give me the microphone. I'm just I'm singing. Find solace. How do I sing? C E O on trumpet bar. Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey Bezos. So this is like a massive. Through, 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 through. I have a fucking widow, I'm- ah! Let's finish the fight. Day 5 was rough to say the least. I don't know what had happened between today and the previous day, but it suddenly felt like I'd either deeply angered the player base for being bad, or the game devs were issuing divine punishment for regularly playing their own game. Because not only was I having to deal with my own shittiness, I was also having to deal with the shittiness of the other players. More so than usual. Why do I keep on getting awful tanks? I keep on- oh my fucking god. I need- I need a good tank. Why- what is it with all of the awful tanks today? Are there no good tanks playing right now, or are all the good tanks avoiding me as their teammate? The number of times I was targeted by entire enemy teams, the number of battle mercies who shot me down, the number of tanks who kept diving out of my line of sight and kept getting themselves killed, it was all exponentially higher than it had been ever before during this challenge. I'm just running. I'm just running. I don't care. Don't you love it when... 
We were solely targeting me. What? The Genji just happened to be there. Moira, that's your responsibility. We're running, we're running, we're running! Why is the Bastion targeting me? That's the fucking ult they've done in which it's just like, yep, we're going to just triangulate Lin's position. It's just been me distracting their their tank, their tank, and both of their healers. This made trying to play the game even more painful than it usually was. Despite this, the brief moments of gamer kept happening, and even when I was actively throwing, I was being more helpful than I probably was during the entirety of day one. I just need you alive right now. This is going to be a hard push. And we need this push to be working, right? That is probably the proudest I've ever been in my life. I canceled his entire ult. I'm so happy. See, up our ass right now. Up our collective ass right now. I can't do anything unless we have a front line. I don't know, man. How do you flank us on it? Oh my fucking god, she's just up there, huh? I was like, I'm pretty sure I should be able to do that. I don't even know where she is right now. Where is she? Fuck, 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 fuck. We didn't stop her, we didn't stop her, we didn't stop her. I don't know who I'm ulting! I'm ulting someone! Oh my fucking god! Get out of there! I guess... We're doing this, I suppose! Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I need to breathe here. Oh my god. What was that? 
I just went, mm, yeah, we're, go we're gonna contest this. We're gonna hold this point. Regardless of the many cool things I did this day, I was so very glad for this entire thing to be over. 100 games, 18 hours, multiple people kidnapped for a greater cause. Many things were sacrificed during this challenge. My already dwindling sanity, my shoulders, my sleep schedule, the player base of this game. All for it to end in the most appropriate way possible for this terrible, shitty, awful game. The world's most one-sided game ever played on Rialto. A game 100. <laughs> that was disappointing. So, did I learn anything from this experience? Yeah, that my shoulders really fucking hurt. But, in all seriousness, I simultaneously learned a lot during this experience, and almost nothing at all. Let me explain. On the one hand, despite exclusively playing as Anna during this week, I don't think I actually improved to that much as her. By the end of the 100 games, I was still missing most of my sleep dart, using my biotic grenade suboptimally, and was still regularly nano-boosting the wrong people. <laughs> I think that in order to actually improve as Ana, like get to the point where I can call myself a quote-unquote good Ana player, I would have to put in serious hours in aim lab, probably read an encyclopedia's worth of game mechanics, and conduct thorough research on which ults actually benefit from being nano-boosted because fun fact, not only do I not know this, but I still can't find a definitive list on the matter. It has literally been a month since I've recorded this video, and I still can't find this information. However, on the other hand, the concentrated Overwatch gaming, especially as a character I'm not good at, has greatly improved my overall understanding of the game. Its mechanics, its matchups, its optimal strategies. Following this week, I found myself better able to tell when to push, when to fall back, when to ult, when to ask for healing, when to contest. I was making more informed decisions that were benefiting my team, even when I wasn't playing Ana. Now, knowing all of this, would I recommend doing this? No. 
Hell no. Not only should you not be playing four hours a day for almost a week straight because I need to be the responsible YouTuber that tells my audience to go touch grass, but also Overwatch is not the video game you should be investing your time into. Its company hates its player base, and recent updates following the recording of this footage have shown this to be more true than ever before. Go play TF2 instead. Actually, that's the main takeaway of this video. Go play TF2. Your blood pressure will thank you. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs> I hope it was well worth the wait. Uh, recording and editing this has been a process to say the least. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff um, happening in my personal life and it's been a lot, but things have started to calm down and hopefully it won't take a month for the next video to come out. Um, also, thank you everyone for 540 some odd subs. Um, I don't know if it's a testament to the channel's growth or how fucking long this video took to make, but we were at 450 subs or so uh, back in June, so I'm really thankful for everyone's support, despite the slow video production. <laughs> Once again, hopefully the next one won't take as long, but still, thank you everyone for 540 subs, Here and here's to at least 52 more. Catch you all in the next one. Take care.